Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today I'm super excited to be reviewing this Rainbow High Rainbow Vision mini toy doll and she is part of the Royal 3 she is the last one I have to review for you guys um, the other videos are already uploaded if you want to check those out in my channel but yeah here we have the box here's uh, mini Choi. she looks really really cute as you can see I think she she could be my second favorite but we'll see because uh, she's a really close one with uh, Tiara so maybe she'll be my favorite or my second one but yeah <laughs> here in the top we have the um, Rainbow High like slogan that is let your true colors shine here we have the little name tag for mini here it says Rainbow High here on the bottom it says Rainbow Vision and we have the artwork for the um, Royal Three Girls we have the um, YouTube channel for Rainbow High we have the second pair of shoes the second outfit the um, t-shirt for the fans we have uh, her gloves and her album and here we have Minnie herself she looks really really cute here on the back of the box we have the Royal Three logo uh, that as I said in my previous reviews that logo is just really really bad looking for a k-pop group <laughs> uh, and then we have the artwork for the three girls right here so they look really really cute and here we have again rainbow high rainbow vision that's basically it for the box now i'm going to get her out so that we can check her out up close okay so here she is out of the box and first i'm going to show you everything that she came with she has a comb of course as all the other rainbow high dolls it says rainbow right there it is a really light pink and it is full of glitter we also have her doll stand of course which is the same color um, as the comb we have this album which as you can see is all holographic i really like it and um if we open it up First, we have a picture of the three um, members of this group. We have two pages for Minnie, which look amazing. She looks really, really pretty. We have the lyrics for Spotlight. And we have the silhouette of the three girls from the Royal Three. And on the back, we have the signature for the three girls. Then we also have her second outfit, which looks like this. It is really cute as you can see it is two different fabrics this one is like satin and this one is like um, like suede or something like that it looks really interesting it is full of pearls I hope they don't fall off uh, that easy and it has velcro on the back we also have this shirt which is kind of weird because she's supposed to come with a different shirt um, well it's really really similar to this one but the other one had uh, the girls signatures uh, besides them and they were not showing any hand poses so yeah this is the same shirt that comes with tiara so now I have a double of this piece which is fun <laughs> then we have her shoes so this is the second pair of shoes the platform of this shoe looks really really cool and the rest of it is like a really light pink and the buckle is silver and then we have those pleather looking um, socks and of course that's on both of the shoes and uh, then we have the, the gloves that um, yeah they're basically kind of hard to show they will look better once on the doll so yeah I'll do that in a moment but first we're going to check out Miss Minnie so first we have her face as you can see she has purple eyes they look really really beautiful and she has some blue some green on uh, some details there on the eyes then we have her eyeshadow which is a really hot pink compared to the rest of her which is interesting we also have some white and we have some glitter lines here um, on the brow bone she has that little black heart right there and she has white lashes there on the bottom she also has some glitter on the corner of the eye and that's on both sides of course then we have her lipstick which is this really neutral pink i really like the face in general of this doll she looks really like angelic like really really cute 
I really like her eyebrows as well. They are this light brown color and they fade from a darker brown to a lighter brown. So that's really, really pretty. We have her microphone that as you can see, looks like a heart here on the ear and uh, it is silver. The actual microphone is black and silver and uh, it's a headband as you can see. So the headband is pink and it has the RH letters right there and yeah she's really really pretty i really really love the way she looks um we also have her hair so she has two braids that are pulled back uh, to the sides and this is how it looks from the back well the top and the back so it is really wavy really pretty hair uh it has um metallic nylon if i'm not wrong which is the one that really shines in the light but um yeah it is pretty manageable i really like it then we have her first outfit so we have this top which is pleather and there you can see all the little pearls that she has on um i would be really really careful with this doll because she's full of pearls and we already know that rainbow high uh is not that good at uh gluing those little pieces on the clothing so yeah be really careful if you get her um, then we have the jacket, which I think it's a really, really interesting piece. There you can see all the little pearls around, like the collar and stuff. Let me move her hair a little bit. There you can see. And I am already missing some of the pearls, but that's because uh, they were not glued well enough on the box. So there you can see how it looks. It has some silver details, uh, some quilting there on, the, on this part right here. It looks really, really cute. Uh, it has this, I think that's a plastic stay, which I don't know why they always have to do so many of those because those really ruin parts of the jacket or the, the clothing pieces in general. So yeah, there you can see how the arm looks. It's a really, really detailed piece. I really like it. That's um, the body of the jacket is like pleather again. And we have more silver detail here on the um, like the pocket area i would say we have these tassels right here with some pearls and um, they also have like little tinsel on the, the actual tassel that's really really cute and that's on both sides and uh, yeah i think it's a very different piece but at the same time it goes really well with how the doll is supposed to look because she's like really delicate, really pinky, really, really, I don't know, cute in general. Uh, so yeah, I, I think the what I'm gaining from these dolls is that each one represents one of uh, K-pop's more, uh, I don't know, well-known, popular uh, concepts because we have like the cute one, the really um, innocent looking one, then we have Tessa, which is a little bit more of a sportier, kind of, um, I don't know, tougher look. And we have Tiara, which is like the glamorous look that um, a lot of uh, K-pop groups tend to do now. So, yeah. But uh, in my opinion, Mini is like really, really capturing that really cute vibe from the K-pop groups um, nowadays, because the previous ones were like cute, but like, overly cute so yeah <laughs> then we have her nails as you can see they are unique for her because she has pearls on them she has that bow ring and yeah they're just really really cute and they're long really long as you can see she has more rings on this side and again the really long nails and some pearls on the tips of the nails again let me show you that to you there you go then we have the skirt which is black she has that zipper on the front. I don't know what's going on with this piece, but it is like uh, really weirdly placed. And the zippers on the sides are actually printed, which is kind of new. I haven't seen that from MGA uh, like ever, I would say, but uh, I think it looks good. It gets the job done, so I like it. Then we have those uh, two slits there on the front and um, the same fabric that uh, Tiara had on her dress is underneath this skirt so yeah there you can see that it's not my favorite fabric again but uh, I prefer 
this uh, kind of use for that fabric uh, rather than being like the whole uh, piece as in Tiara's dress because that was not like a really cute piece. It was a really cute piece, but not uh, the right material. Then we have the boots, which are pink. There you can see the platform has these uh, silver details. I really like them. And we also have some plastic details sewn onto the fabric of the boot. So these little things here on the side are actually plastic. And this little, uh, I don't know, kind of branding thing is also uh, plastic but then you can see uh, that the boot actually has uh, different like layers so we have this one which is like the base one then we have this one and then we have this one like the top one i really like the fact that they uh, played a little bit with the construction of the boots so that's it for the first outfit for mini then we're going to check out the second one so that we can end this video so here we have her in her second outfit and i have to say that it is really really impressive like all the placement of little pearls and stuff it looks really really good you can see how the gloves look on her they were kind of hard to put on but they totally look awesome um and this is not a dress this is a two-piece so we have a top and a skirt and uh, yeah they look really 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 cool then we have the um, the details here on the skirt they just look so good like the placement on the pearls is a little questionable but in general i think they did really really good on the the clothing of this idols and here we have the shoes uh we have the uh, latex socks and then the shoe with the platform full of flowers and stuff she is really really beautiful i am really happy about this whole line i have to say maybe um i do prefer mini over tiara um mostly because of the the whole like detailed outfit like this one looks just really really good and um yeah tell me in the comments down below what you think about all this line and about mini choy please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel follow me on my instagram and my tiktok those links will be always in the description box down below activate the little bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a new video and i'll see you in the next one bye